Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be introducing the concept of file I.O. or file input and output. Specifically, we're going to be going over what file I.O. is, and as part of that discussion, we're going to be talking about what file permissions are, which is something you may be familiar with, uh, if, especially if you've used Linux or Unix platform. We're also going to be uh, going over the different methods used to basically read uh, from files. And the first method we're going to talk about is called fopen, uh, which is a built-in function of PHP. And as part of that, we're going to provide a discussion of uh, specifying file paths to that function and also the different access modes um, that you can specify to the function that describe basically whether you want to open a file to read or write, for example. We're going to go over the concept of file pointers, uh, which is a is very similar to an array cursor, which is uh, basically allows you to read or write from a certain point in a document based on where this particular pointer is. And then we're going to go over a, a couple of uh, other methods that relate to working with files. Um, fget is a way of reading a single line from a file. Fe, eof, is basically a function that tests if you are at the your file pointer is at the end of a file. And we're going to explain more about that. And then we're going to go over the fclose method, which is a way, sort of the analog to fopen, which is a way to close a particular file. And we're also going to talk about the trim function, uh, which is something that is uh, useful when working with files. So basically, file I.O. or, is, or file input and output um, refers to reading from and writing to files on a file system. Um, PHP fortunately provides a, a number of built-in functions for uh, doing so. And in order to perform file I.O., uh, there's typically three steps involved. Uh, the first step is you open a connection or you open a particular file. Then what you do is you perform any read or write operations that you need to on that particular file. And when you're done with those operations, uh, you close the file. And so we're going to talk about, we're going to actually, as we go through this lesson, walk, walk, through, the, walk through each of these different steps. Um, one thing to note about opening a file is um, that when you open a file, uh, you need to, you, we'll be learning, you need to specify whether you intend to just read or write from that particular file. Um, so uh, now I want to talk about file permissions. Uh, and like I said, those of you that have used Unix or Linux systems are, are more familiar with this than probably Windows users. users. Um, but basically, in order to read or write um, from or to a particular file, you need to have the appropriate permissions on that file. For example, to read from a file, you need to have what's known as read permissions on the file. To write to a file, you need to have write permissions on the file. And basically what these are are um, permissions that are set by the particular operating system on the system that you're using. So for our local development environment, we're, it's going to be a Windows permission system. Uh, if you're developing, maybe typically if you're using a web host, they typically use a Linux um, a Linux server, uh, it's going to be dealing with Linux as uh, permission systems for read and write permissions. Um, one of the things to note is that not having the proper file permissions uh, for a particular file is one of the most common errors in uh, trying to do file I.O. with PHP. Uh, if you're trying to read from a file and you don't have read permission or write from a file and you don't have permission to, to write on the file. Now, uh, the way things that typically with an operating system, the way per permissions work is they're associated with a particular user account. For example, in Windows, uh, when you log onto your computer, that's your user account. And you have certain read and write permissions for different directories and different files. Typically, you always have, for example, read and write permission for um, all of the directories and, and files within your user directory. Um, so when using PHP, one thing to note um, that m you may uh, encounter uh, as a problem is that uh, PHP, when it typically runs, when that PHP interpreter runs uh, on your server, it typically runs as a PHP user account or as a web user account. So you have to make sure that the uh, account associated with the PHP interpreter, and this is something that you may be able to change or it's something that you have to talk to your system admin about, but that user account has to have the proper permission set to access uh, to read or write for a particular file. So basically, if PHP is trying to open a file for reading, the, um, whatever user that PHP interpreter process is running at needs to have permission to read or write from that particular file. So uh, the first step in working with a file in PHP uh, is to open the file for reading or writing. And you do that using what's known as the fopen function. 
Uh, it's, again, it's a built-in function of PHP, and it takes uh, two required parameters. The first one is the name and the path to the file that you're going to be open, opening. Uh, the second is what's known as the read and write mode um, with which to open the file. So as, as mentioned, when you open a file, you have to let PHP and the operating system know whether you intend to just read from the file, write from the file, or do both. Um, if F open on a particular file, uh, file is successful, it returns what's known as a file handle. Um, and basically what a file handle is, is it represents a open connection to that particular file. In PHP, a file handle is actually um, one of the special PHP data types, the other one being null, uh, that's, that's known as a resource data type. Um, basically what it is, is it's a data type that refers to an external resource, in this case, uh, a, a handle to an open file. Another example of a uh, resource data type might be a uh, connection to a MySQL database. If fopen fails, uh, it returns false, and then it generates uh, an e-warning e level error. Uh, and so that's something we're going to talk a little bit about working with, how to handle that error uh, when you use the fopen function. And this is a, a, a key function because a valid file handle is needed by all of the other PHP uh, file I.O. functions that we're going to be dealing with. Um, because basically what you do is, is when you call a function, for example, to read a line from a file, you have to pass it a valid file handle. And that valid file handle it means that it's a, a open, open handle to a handle to an opened uh, PHP file. Um, so this is a, a really a, a key function. If we actually go and look at php.net and the documentation for the fopen function, we can see it has these two required parameters, file name and mode mode being the, uh, basically the read-write mode that uh, you use to open a particular file. And actually, if you look down here, you can see uh, with mode, there's a number of different options that you can use to open a file. You can open it to read, open it to write. We're going to go over that a little more in a second. Uh, 